All right, Freddie, so we just watched a giant coal train go by. So as you can see, <clears throat> what is it going to take to wake up Montana and Idaho and Oregon and Washington residents about the coal dust that's coming to little small uh, cities like this? And, you know, I think people need to wake up and, and you know, look at, Look at how many people are dying from the different cancers that are out there. Mm -hmm. Look at the, the, the health issues that are facing our communities, whether, you know, we drink the water or, you know, but, you know, it's, you know, I mean, there's probably, there was probably, that was probably a mile long. Mm -hmm. And um, I just think it's important for people to understand and, and recognize that, you know, the thousands, the billions, the, the quadrillion amounts of art particles that mm -hmm. fall off from mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. can, can, it can and will add up. They'll, they'll fall into your salmon you, mm -hmm. you eat and, and the, um, the, the water that you drink. And um, we need to stand up and do something about it. Mm -hmm. All right, anything else you want to share about that experience? Um, it's just interesting to sit right here mm -hmm. and, and, and you could smell. It, it smells like one of those roads out in Whatcom County mm -hmm. that they just, they just spread the fresh tar mm -hmm. and the oil over the road and they're paving it. Mm -hmm. That's what it smells like. I mean, you could taste it. You could, it just has this, let alone all the fires and the climate change that's happening. But yeah. You know, um, there's no such thing as clean coal. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And that thing is heading, like, you want to talk about where that's heading right now? It's heading out to the Pacific Northwest, mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. the Columbia Gorge. Mm -hmm. So stand up, write somebody, vote, get out and vote. It's your sacred duty to do that. Protect the land.